What's up, school fans? Welcome back to Trash Talk. Back with me, Rocky Padilla, and today I am so hype. I am so happy because we have my big bro, Mario Wusang, in the house. Bro, what's up, man? What's good? What's up, Rock? Good to see you, bro. Hey, man, you, good, man. To, good to see you and good talking to you. And you are oh, in boy. Houston right now, um, mm-hmm. working with the Shoot360. Can you just tell sure. us the background, how you connect with them? Well, so I, I came to, I was working for uh, Showcase Academy in Burbank, California. Mm-hmm. And the pandemic hit um, and it, it closed, it closed down for during, during almost, almost a year. So I decided to just come to Houston and I didn't have any plans uh, as far as jobs in Houston. And I found Shoot360, I've heard about Shoot360 before, mm-hmm. but I just found them on, on a social media site and I just messaged them and wow come, come, yeah and then they pretty much hired me right away uh come to find out the GM for Shoot360 also was an ex uh ABL player oh Alex <laughs> no 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 no, no, no. Not Alex not Alex oh, the, no, G- Alex. the GM of uh, Houston Shoot360 is uh Brian Davis he had a small stint for uh KL Dragons Ah, so, I see. Yeah, small stint. So he played all over it, all over the world. But um, he 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 had a short stint with the KL Dragons uh, towards the end of his career, and then um, yeah, so he he knew of my name, and then we connected, and then the rest wow. is history. See yeah. how small the world, world works. Back. Yeah, basketball is such a small world. Yeah, you know that, Rock. I know that's crazy, but I thought it's Alex because I know Alex used to work for three sixty two. So about Alex, Alex Hartman, by the way, guys, Alex Hartman for Marissa so, Tremuda. So we were teammates and uh-huh. the, begin, the beginning stages of Shoot360, Alex mm-hmm. was also, he's also a, a content creator, not a content creator, he's a graphic designer, sorry. Mm-hmm. So he helped design the early stages of Shoot360 uh, logo. The facilities, uh-huh. the logos, everything. Wow. He, he helped with that, with the creative design. So that's out, yeah. I still talk to Alex. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah. So uh, what do you exactly do, though? Do you train kids? Do you train uh, college players? Or what do you do with the Shoot360? So I train uh, anywhere from kids all the way up into college players. And there's pro players in there, too. Oh, wow. And also, we, we I train classes. So it's 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 a whole, it's a whole, uh, it's everything. But if, if for those that don't know about Shoot360, mm-hmm. so it's the technology that it's like no other. So uh, it basically all our shooting machines and our skill machines, it has it has all these drills inside the okay. inside the computer. So you just pull up and basically you don't even need a coach there with you. Oh, wow. And all, all your data and analytics are saved. So there's sensors and cameras that that catch everything at all the spots where you're at. That's that's the beauty of shoot 360 that I've never seen. Wow. In, in, you know, in my years of basketball. And I tell people all the time, I wish this facility was around when I was, Blame. you know, in high school. Right? Oh, you know, when I was, you know, when I was a kid, so I, I wouldn't have left the gym, you know. Wow, that's really cool, though. But uh, for Shoot360, like, can people just come and, you know, pay for a day or how does it work? You, you can you can pay for a day, but most of our, our clients mm-hmm. are members. So, you know, they're whether they're three-month members or annual I members. See. Um, it, so we have we have a lot of members and so in Houston actually the 360 that I work at is the only one in Texas oh wow it's the only shoot 360 in Texas they're they're around nationally there's mm-hmm. there's a few in California there's a big mm-hmm. one in Atlanta and, and Indiana but we we're gonna start opening up more shoot 360s mm-hmm. in the Houston area so it's 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 dope it's dope because uh, a lot of Indonesian kids right now, you know, they're making move to the States and some some players, they also like to go on a holiday with their family. Maybe one day, one day when they get a chance, you know, to go to Houston or maybe in California, they should do, they should stop man, and train at Shoot360, right? Absolutely, absolutely. And even like teams, club teams, mm-hmm. national teams in the future, if, you know, if they're, they want to get some training done and they want to come to the Texas area, come to Houston, Shoot360, and we'll put them through, you know, We'll, we'll take care of them. We'll basically take care of them. New life, new chapter, yeah, being yeah, a coach. Absolutely. How is it like? <laughs> no, I mean, I've had, you know, I've had some experience in this, in skill development training. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I think that's something I'm, that, that I love because, you know, developing guys, 
developing developing their skill work mm-hmm. is it's fun for me. It is. Developing again and then seeing them apply that in a game. It's just that's fun. It is, it is, it is so much fun right now. That's Houston. Let's move a little bit. Let's talk about yeah. Indonesian basketball. Do you still follow Indonesian basketball right now? I do time to time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. I do. Uh, I, I took, I like, I told you earlier, mm-hmm. um, you know, I took about a year off away from basketball as far as like after I retired. I just didn't, didn't watch basketball. I didn't pay attention to basketball. Mm-hmm. I just needed to refresh. But I do still keep up to date with Indonesian basketball. I see where the national team's going. I see where got, how guys are improving. I see some guys that we talked about, like, I used to go to school here in the States. They're back in Indonesia doing well. You know, so, yeah, it's, it's, it's good to see, man. Yeah, talk about the progress of our players. Uh, of course, Brendan Jawado, uh, he just signed uh, with uh, Japan, uh, a big well, league team. How do you feel about, you know, Indonesian players now getting exposure and also getting signed to, uh, to a league outside Indonesia? Man, you know what? I've seen that. Mm-hmm a headline about Brandon I was so happy because Mm -hmm. I think he deserves it and I think it's probably one of the greatest things for Indonesia basketball as far as um uh like putting a spotlight on Indonesia Mm -hmm. basketball you know this is you got an Indonesian player that's able to get a contract in in the BJ league in in Japan which is a great league yeah I mean that's just gonna that's more exposure for Indonesia basketball and I think I'm happy so happy for Brandon as well you know like he's that's my little bro man I know how hard he works. He, he's a gym rat, and he deserves this, man. He deserves it. He does. He does. I'm really happy too about uh, Brandon going to Japan. I think he just that's gonna do. Uh, he's just that's just gonna help the teamness in the future because he's gonna improve Absolutely. his skills. He's gonna play against better competition. So that's why I'm very happy about that. And we got Matt Royce players too now, bro. Yeah, <laughs> in yeah, case yeah. you know, we got Lance yeah, Prosper, yeah. and we got uh, Mike Chris Bolden now. Uh, Talk about, can you imagine if you play back in the day with a net rice player? <laughs> right. right. You know, I, 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 do, I do think about that time to time. I'm like, man, they're do- they're, everything that they're doing now, I push for them to do back then. Yeah. You know, because I wanted that opportunity. If you give me one big, I just needed one naturalized big back then. And, you know, I think we could have upset a lot of teams and gotten a lot further. But, you know, it, it's, it's good to imagine those things and kind of like, oh, wow. But, but, you know, I'm happy for the guys now, man. I, you know, I'm very happy for the uh, for Lester. I know Lester personally, so okay. I don't know Marquise personally, but I know Lester per- uh, personally, and he's helping Indonesia a lot, and I'm happy for him. And, you know, like that's awesome. Yeah, Marquise is a little quiet because I think um, he's he's not a social media guy, I believe, and we mm-hmm. always just keep it quiet. I think he's want to focus on his goal and he's still trying, I think, to go to the NBA. Uh, but Lester, you say you know Lester uh, personally. Uh, can you talk about that relation? How do you guys uh, connect? Yeah, so I actually met Lester in a tournament when I was oh, playing, wow. when I was with CLS. Uh, we, we played in a tournament against each other in Malaysia. Wow. A, pre, a preseason tournament. So, And I met him in the weight room we started to talk and we connected from there this is way before he was playing for a team from hong kong out of yeah, hong kong. He, 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 we, we we connected there and then this is way before indonesia talk like you know him going to indonesia so when i found out years later that he you know is, is a naturalized player for indonesia i was like wow that's dope what a small world like like you're saying <laughs> yeah. it's a small world so yeah i've known lester for yeah quite a few years man and did you ever uh, did you get a chance to follow our team Nasmuda last season in the IBL? I did. I did a little bit. You know, I just just from like social media and things like that. And you know, man, there's a lot of good talent. There's a lot of young talent. I love their size too. There's a lot of good uh, young talent with size, which is crucial for Indonesia. Um, I don't know everyone by name, uh-huh. but. Uh, there's a couple of good guards that can jump, you know, obviously yeah. I, I pay attention to a lot of guards. Um, I see a lot of good skill work from these guards, a lot of potential, smart, um, crafty, and that, you know, those are things I always look for, and, you know, and yeah, it, it, the future looks bright, man. Yeah, and I think the future looks bright with uh, a lot of, of potential players and also Derek Michael. We talk about Derek Michael, he's in yes. the uh, NBA Academy right now in Australia. <laughs> And he might, he might have a chance to play NCAA D1. Your thoughts on that? <laughs> Man, you know, so I never got to meet Derek Michael. Yes. Um, but I did reach out to him. 
I messaged yeah. him oh, wow. when when he uh, got to join the NBA Academy. And I just couldn't I just reached out to him and congratulated him, man, because I think that's a bright future for Indonesia. That's a bright future for for him, you know, as a player. And opportunities are just going to open up by by him going to the NBA mm. Academy. Like you said, he's going to have an opportunity to come stateside, go to college develop his game i mean he has the tools already you know you can't teach height yeah. and, and and athleticism so he has those things and I, I see he can shoot a little bit too and i think that's one of the best moves for him to go to australia in the nba academy because australia knows their basketball they're going to develop him you know with the right fundamentals with the right skill work i mean it's just it's just perfect for him it's a perfect setting for him in my opinion wow that was a good gesture though uh from you reaching out to him and congratulate him on getting to NBA Academy. Why do you think it's important though, you know, for you as a veteran, uh, as, you know, players with a lot of championships too, you know, to reach out to a young guy like that, man. How important is yeah. that? Man, I, I mean, because I never, I didn't really have too much of that. Like, you know, when I first came to Indonesia, I was mm-hmm. pretty much the only person in, in like you know american in an asian that came back i didn't have any guidance so i kind of had to figure things out by myself so if i can see someone like for example like Derek, like brandon joab mm-hmm. but you know we have similar backgrounds uh garkey so someone like uh, Derek, he he grew up in indonesia and he's going to a different country and i know that's that, that's a lot of there's a, there's a lot of barriers there language barrier cultural barriers so i just if i can give him any guidance and help and encouragement man I, i'm gonna do that you know what I mean? okay now let's talk about you a little bit again uh of course everybody asking me is uncle ro gonna go back to indonesia is uncle ro gonna help the national team so let's hear it from you personally do you have Any plan, if anything opens up, you know, to go back and maybe work with the national team or with an IBL team? Oh, absolutely. Um, mm-hmm. You know, there, there's been opportunities, you know, since I retired about almost about three years ago. I still get phone calls. Uh, there's opportunities <laughs> for me to go even even to play, which is play? funny. I'm like, I'm like, no, I'm playing days are over. But um, I, tell people, I tell people all the time that that, that door will, I will always keep open and I do want to do that in the future, but there are there's some things I need to take care of here right now, which requires me to be here for you know in a couple of years, in the next couple of years. So, but yeah, definitely rock. I do want to go back and help, uh, whether it's in a club team or a national team or in Vice or whatever, and anything anything to do with helping basketball in Indonesia. I'm always I'm always uh, in for that. Bro, we got maybe four new teams in the IBL. They might need a I point heard. guard. <laughs> hey. I heard I, I'm not even familiar with the teams. I yeah. like these na- names, the team yeah. names. I'm like, well, I don't know. That's strange to me, but okay, uh-huh. that's cool. Tell me about it. Man. Yeah, man, they got um, uh, Rafi Ahmad. I don't know if you know him. One of the biggest entertainers. Yeah. His yeah. his team might go into the IBL. And then Hawkstown Grand, Hawkstown Grand, the, oh, I think the owner or maybe the chairman is the manager for 3X3, Ramadatau. So they got, they got some cash. <laughs> so, so are these are these team, are these teams in Jakarta? Or? Yeah, mostly mostly in Jakarta, mostly in Jakarta. Oh, wow. Yeah, so man, if you ever you know think it's, it's like yeah, so sure. in good shape, bro. How do you stay in good shape? <laughs> man, let, let me tell you. See, this, let, let me tell you. For this is for people I know. I tell people this, but I don't. I don't go to the gym anymore. Okay, this is I, all I do is hike, bike, uh, push ups body squats burpees and then i'm staying healthy of course you know i don't, I don't eat that much so <laughs> stay fit man i mean in texas barbecue is good bro oh yeah of course I mean, <laughs> some texas barbecue yeah. <laughs> oh bike i don't know why bike is really helpful though because uh, even azrul azrul is uh, on the bike all the time and he is super skinny i don't know how it helps with your body though It is. It's, it's a lot of cardio, and you're getting oh. you're getting a workout because you're enjoying what you're doing. You're out biking. You're kind of like seeing. You know, you're, you're caught up in the visuals of like just being outdoors. You don't realize your body's actually going doing a lot of work. I see. That's why you know, you're, you're burning so many calories. You know. What I mean? Ah, okay. So I might need to go out on bike then. Yeah. <laughs> and and where, where you're at, I'm sure there's a ton of beautiful trails. 
a lot Ton. of a lot of a lot of that yeah yeah and then yeah. of course uh, there's one question also on instagram asking you about the lifestyle difference between the states and indonesia because i know you spend a lot of time in indonesia you came 2003 and i think you left 2018 maybe if i'm not wrong yeah yeah yeah, yeah? You're right, you're right. so 15 years in indonesia and now you're back in the states what the biggest difference of lifestyle that you see uh there's a lot of differences um mm. you know it's definitely you, you you know you can attest to yeah. this as well cultural differences yes um, structural differences mm. but you know i do i do love both sides of it you know like there's a lot of things i miss about mm. it you know like we talk about all pluck, like, bro. <laughs> I miss the little things, man. I miss the food, and oh, probably the food is uh-huh. probably the things I think about a lot. You know, I love American food, obviously, um, but just the little things like a tonprak, uh, what else? Yeah. Like sate. You know, oh, sate! Oh my god! Yeah. Not, not nasi goreng. Nice. Things. I miss those things. But yeah, uh, there is a lot of differences, but both positive. You know what I mean? Can you cook nasi goreng? I can, but it's not going to be the same. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> nasi gila. Have you tried nasi gila? Have you tried nasi gila before? I have. Okay. You don't like it? Yeah, it's not bad. Uh, it's not bad. <laughs> you, you, you know what I miss? I miss Padang. I miss Padang. Oh, I yeah. Miss... Padang. Everybody probably miss Padang. See? My miss my Padang. wife also miss Padang. I do miss that. I'm not allowed. <laughs> okay, well, let's talk about the NBA a little bit because I know you're a big Laker fan. And now look at your Lakers. They are stuck, yo. <laughs> Man, okay. This is <laughs> this this may offend some people, but I'm a Lake, I'm a Laker at heart. And I miss the Lakers of the old. So I when I when I came when I grew up in LA mm-hmm. when I was young, when I was like three, four, five, six years old. I grew up watching Showtime Lakers, Magic, Kareem, Cooper, mm. Byron Scott, Worthy, and then that translated into Kobe, of oh. course, right? Kobe, Shaq, and I'm not too thrilled about what's going, what I'm seeing right now, to be honest with you. Okay, um. we're stacked, but the game has just changed. And the way the way people perceive um, how to win a championship now has just changed. You know, and I don't know if that's a good thing. That I, I'm not on board with it right yet. You know, I'm just like, ah. because if you, if I can't imagine it. for me, example, for example, if I was playing with Chell S and I'm like, I want every good player from every team to join us and then yeah. we win. Is that satisfying to me? Yeah, it's not really, you know what I mean? That's the way I look at it. So, okay. you know, it is what it is. I mean, like, it's crazy that the NBA right now. Uh, not even only the Lakers, the Brooklyn Nets, they are stacked too. They got, they yeah, just got Paul right. Millsap. So I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm agreeing with you though. Like you know, the game is so much different nowadays. Like people like to team up to win championship. Yeah. Right. You know, and you, that, that, that's why I was so happy, Ross. This year, I was so happy for Giannis. Mm-hmm. I was happy for uh, Drew Holiday. I was happy for uh, Middleton. You know what I mean? Because I think those guys, one, they deserved it, and they never searched to be in that like. Um, super team join a super mm. team they kind of just fell in that place and and just got better and won so that that to me I was like wow that's they deserve it so who do you gonna support then next season <laughs> who do you like now who's, who squad do you like I, I, I don't really support squads anymore I, I mm. kind of like look at the individual like oh I like him I like his game and you know I think he's good I think he's he's got his mind right like one guy like is D book You know, Ooh. Devin Booker. I think De- Devin's got it. But the thing is, I uh, not to talk about his personal life, but yeah, I seen him play <laughs> with one of the Jenners, and I'm like, don't mess your life up. <laughs> 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 yeah. so, hey, I think he bit the curse though. <laughs> He's in the finals. <laughs> it's too early to tell. Now I'm just like, please don't don't mess your life up, bro. But. <laughs> Uh, other than him, you know, I, I, I like a lot of players, man. Of course, Giannis, I support him. Um, I, I still think KD right now is the best player in the world. Oh, KD? In my okay. Opinion. I think KD is still the best in the world. I love his game. Man, love his game. Uh, of course, I love Steph's game. Um, yeah, it's just, I follow, I follow players. I like Trey Young. I like Trey Young's game. Trey is nice, oh, too. Trey is nice. Um, Probably a player I love watching is uh is Luca Luca Doncic. Yeah, I mean I think I think I would like to see if he can get a chip. 
this following year or the year after with, with him being that young i think that's gonna be incredible yeah they just need, he just needs help he just needs help but yeah. this game is just it's yes <laughs> and of course you're in houston right now and houston is hype about the rockets oh, <laughs> Yeah, 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 Jalen so, Green, you know, green. Jay Good, uh, Christian Wood, and of course, Kevin Porter Jr. Are you going to be a Rockets fan? <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely going to catch a couple of games. So, uh-huh. you know, three, so you see, uh, unofficially, uh, you know, I'm probably not supposed to say this, but I think uh, we're close to partnering up with them, with the oh, Rockets. Right. So, I'll definitely catch a couple of games. Um, nice. And yeah, Jalen, <laughs> Jalen Green, I, I think his future is great. I, I love his game. Uh, I mean, he's got it. You know, it's all about it's, it's all about keeping it. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I think the tools are there, and and and, and he's got Filipino in him, so you know yes. we always got to support, you know, Asians. Yeah. So yeah, we got to support our neighbor too. You know, Filipinos because I yeah, know a lot of Filipino subscribers too. That like, I'm very surprised because uh, they like they like to listen to me too. I'm very surprised, but I love Filipino basketball. Though, do you still do you still follow Filipino basketball right now? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, you know, I have so many play, uh, friends that play still in the Philippines and, you know, all the relationships I've built throughout the years. Um, a lot of Philippine friends. So I, a lot of respect and I still follow them. Kai Soto, um, I know yeah. he's, he's in Australia. That's great. Um, he's the future, I think. Um, you know, I, I, for Jimmy's news, Jimmy Alapai. Oh, yeah, Jimmy. You know? So, I mean, I think that's, that's awesome. Man. Jimmy's such a good guy and, like, If anyone deserves uh, to succeed, it. it's definitely him. It's definitely him, you know. So yeah, I man, just so many, so many things going on in the basketball world. I, I do still keep up with everything. Yeah, crazy. As much as I can. As much as yeah, I can. crazy. You're in Houston and you're still keeping up with everybody's uh, with all the news out here. And so, I mean, not out here because I'm in Seattle, but I mean out there in Southeast Asia. Yeah. Uh, it's so crazy. And right. of course, Jimmy Olapa, uh, he just got. Uh, signed by Sacramento Kings to be assistant coach on their G League team. Do you see yourself like one day maybe try that route also, bro? Man, you know what? That would be a great opportunity. You know, mm. um, and, and if, like like I said, if that door opens up, uh, I'll, I'll I'll be there to, to you know, I'll be there to walk in that door. And <laughs> I know for me, basketball will always be in my life mm. somehow, some way, even though even though I. Sometimes, at times in my life, I try to get away from it. It keeps coming back. So I know that's God telling me, like, you know, you, you need to be in basketball. So, yeah, absolutely. Right. Because you, you and Jimmy actually have a lot of a lot of similarities. Just the, mm-hmm. the, the way you guys brought up, how you yeah. guys represent the national team. We're about the same age. I think we're yeah, about, about the same, the same age. age. So, yeah, just talk about, you know, your similarities with Jimmy and, of course, how you respect Uh, Jimmy's a lot uh, for his career. Yeah, man. I, you know, I've watched Jimmy uh, before he he went overseas. Before yeah. we both went overseas, so like I knew about Jimmy then from like the Phil Am tournaments, and I was like, okay, I knew about his background and everything like that. I knew where he's from, and I love his game. I just love his attitude and watching his career. Uh, you know, as a professional mm-hmm. national team player, um, it just. I, my respect grew for him, you know what I mean? From what, how he is on the court and how, and then me, me understanding who he was off the court as well and getting to talk to him. And like, so I have the utmost respect for Jimmy, you know, since day one. Um, so yeah, that's, we do have a, some, some, a correlation, a connection here yeah. in a lot of ways. And But the same think, position. <laughs> same position. And I think, um, I, I think, I think there's an understanding of that too with me and him, you know, like there's a, It, it, it's a it's a cool connection that we don't even have to talk about, but it's an understanding that yeah. you know what I mean. It's, it's that vibe that we get. So yeah, man, I, I'm happy for Jimmy. I'm, I'm very happy for Jimmy. Because I feel like we'll, when we'll you, connect again. So. Yeah, when we'll you mention when you mention Jimmy Alapak in Southeast Asia, you gotta mention Mario Wusang. That oh, name man. just goes <laughs> hand to hand in hand. That's an honor, man. According to me, because you know you guys are probably like. You like the two best uh, guards in Southeast Asia. Uh, and of course, I, I, will, I won't leave uh, Jason Castro because <laughs> Jason Castro is a baller. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so yeah, you're, you guys three are probably like the ghosts of the ghosts for uh, point guards in Southeast Asia. But before I let yes, you sir. go, bro, please yes, say some greetings to everybody in Indonesia. 
man, I just want to say Indonesia basketball, man, I love you guys, miss you guys, and keep improving. I mean, the, you know, the door is open for you guys to get better. And I'm, I love what I'm seeing. And I will be back to help you guys out and see you guys. So I miss you guys a lot. And God bless. We are looking forward to that day until we got to call him now Coach Mario. <laughs> is, is, it, is it Coach Mario or is it Coach Uncle Ro? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Huh? Coach hey, Uncle Ro. Because <laughs> I've I seen the things. Who posted it? I don't know who posted it. Was uh -huh. it IBL? The nicknames? Was it IBL that posted it? I'm not like, sure. Yeah. What happened? It was like nicknames. It was like yeah. favorite nickname. And they had all these pictures, faces of players, ex players. And then their nickname on top. I was like, yeah. Woody Jordan. Yeah, yeah. And I think I saw Uncle that. Yeah. <laughs> and I was sitting there thinking, like, who who started the Uncle Roe thing? I still have to think about who did that. I'm wondering. It's not me. But I don't think it's, I don't think it's Just, me, though. I don't think it's me. I don't know. I don't, yeah. I don't know. That's man. a good question. Like, uh, yeah. I'm wondering. Because it's yeah. Because I guess everyone just calls me Uncle Roe. And it's just like, all right, cool. I think it's like when you play for CLS. Yeah, definitely. I think so. be, that, that would suck for, for it to start when I was playing for Aspak. I was yeah, basically. <laughs> no, even Indonesia Warriors. Oh, by the way, I forget to tell you, I actually uh, met Evan Brock in LA. Oh, what was he going after? That's dope. Uh, he was just on a date. <laughs> he was on a date and I just bumped into him. I bumped into him in the, at the Grove. Oh, that's dope. That's yeah, dope. did, you, did cool. you ever get a chance to catch up with all your, maybe like some of your Indonesian Warriors? Yeah, yeah, we st we still talk time time to time. Uh, we still talk. I haven't uh, like met him personally yet, but uh, we st we we always keep in touch. We've never lost touch. Whether it's him, Stan, Steve, yeah, we still all keep in touch. Stan is living life, man, in Manila. <laughs> uh, he's doing his thing. He's doing his thing. One of the he's probably one of the best guards I've played with. Yeah, man. Life. He's making a lot of money and still wearing that Crocs. <laughs> Stan is the realest dude, man. He's the realest dude. I respect that guy, man. It doesn't yeah, matter how absolutely. much money you make. Keep it simple. Keep it simple. Yes, sir. <laughs> well, yes, sir. Thank you so much for your time, man. I really appreciate you. And of course, best of luck. Man, I'll make sure during the NBA season, I'm going to stop by in Houston. Yeah, I'm going sure. to watch. I'm going to watch. I want to watch uh, Jalen Green also. So... Absolutely. We're going to link up, right? Yeah, we'll probably see. I'm going to probably see you like either December or probably after the new year. Yeah. I'm pretty sure Absolutely. we're going to do that. So, yeah. yeah. Well, keep doing your thing. Keep helping Appreciate the kids. You, uh, yeah, man. I'm just happy to finally to talk to you again today. And guys, don't forget to follow and support Coach Ro, <laughs> Coach Mario in Houston. Follow uh, Shoot360 Houston. And of course, just don't forget to follow. What's your I don't know, Mario ba Wusan Basketball? Wusan, Wusan underscore basketball. Yeah, don't Gotta forget to follow. That, but yeah. <laughs> Gotta follow that account too and support Uncle Roy. And let's pray that he's going to come back to Indonesia and help and work with our national team because that will be great. So once again, thank you so much guys for watching. Don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, and we'll see you guys again next video. Peace out. Peace out.